Hi, it's Chris from Driver Training. We just thought we'd go through about the Trenchlock speed camera, as we've had a few people ask. What's the law? Well, a recent article by the insurance company Confuse.com. In June of 2023, they contacted 45 of the UK police forces under a freedom of information request to find out if they operated tolerances on their speed cameras. And 39 of those forces responded and said, yes, they allowed 10% plus two as a general guide. Now, it's important to state that this is not law. This is a tolerance that they allow because of sometimes car speedos aren't always the most accurate. You may have found that with the mobile speed signs they put on lampposts. Your car might be saying that it's 30, but the sign that gets flashed up says 27 or 28. So they allow these tolerances just to take into account the car speedo might not be fully accurate. Their camera equipment may have a slight intolerance. Most these days, because of the advancement of technology, don't. But they do that just to save any dispute. But it is not law. So the police force that covers the trench lock area, West Mercia Police, said they do operate a 10% plus two threshold. So if you're on a 30 mile an hour road, generally the speed camera wouldn't activate until you got to at least 35 miles an hour. But again, it is worth bearing in mind, as the article states, that this is just guidance. Police forces are within their rights to punish anyone that breaks the speed limit even by a few miles an hour. So let's go on to the camera itself then. So we're heading down from Horton Wood and Apley towards Trench Lock. Now, as we're approaching in the distance there, we can now see we have two 30 mile an hour signs, one on either side of the road. So until we pass any other signs saying there's a change of speed limit, we know we're in a 30 mile an hour zone. Because the road is wide, we've got three lanes at this point. One of the problems is of an evening when there's not much traffic, it's a big, wide, empty road. So it is easy to forget that we've just passed those two 30 mile an hour signs. As we follow the road round again on the left and on the right, we've got the warning signs that we are coming into the speed camera area. Uh, again, it shows on the bottom, they repeat the signs, um, which normally they wouldn't on a 30 mile an hour road. This reinforces the fact before you get to that camera, that it is a 30 mile an hour zone. And that camera is both for speeding vehicles and for the vehicles jumping the red lights, because we're aware of the fact that there's been many accidents on Trench Lock caused by people just driving straight through red lights. As we head around the corner over on the right there, you can see the camera and it is off at the side. So it is slightly harder to see. But in the balance of fairness, we know we've just passed two sets of 30 mile an hour signs to remind us. The main key now, especially if you're traveling late of an evening or perhaps of a weekend, is to remember we haven't seen any other change of speed limit signs. So until we do, it's still 30 miles an hour. And as we said, you know, the quieter times with the three lanes, how wide it is, just not paying attention, it's easy to go over that. So you really have to think your way around this because as you can see, the other vehicles are just going already. But ahead of us, we can see there is the change of speed limit signs there. And it's once we pass those 60 signs, that's when the speed limit changes. So up until you pass those, it is still... 30 miles an hour. 
So now let's deal with the second speed camera. So we're coming down from Telford Town Centre towards Trench Lock. In the distance there, we can see before we get to the traffic lights, again, we've got our change of speed limit down to 30 miles an hour. As with coming the other way, until we now see a change of speed limit, we know we're still in a 30 mile an hour zone. We're going to keep in the right hand lane and we're going to take the first exit on the right, which is down towards Stafford and A518. As we follow the road down, we can see ahead the exit on the right. This is the same if you're coming from Trenchlock Garage as well. As we come round the corner, we can see on either side of the road the warning signs again that we're entering the speed camera area. Again, on the right, there's actually a repeater sign to try and remind you before you get to that speed camera that it is still 30 miles an hour. Now here, there are two main factors that can cause problems. The first is the fact that during the week especially, you'll get a lot of lorries uh, coming this way. So this left lane will be filled with slower moving vehicles. Very often, there may just be a lot of cars in the left lane. So people will go into the right hand lane to try and get past them which is how the road is designed. This is what's known as zip merging. And it means instead of one queue of 20 cars, you can now have two queues of 10 cars and then they merge in turn like a zip as the two lanes in front go into one. But of course, what that means sometimes is you feel the need to accelerate past them. Um, and we can end up going over the speed limit. It could just be that the road is empty. So again, it's quite wide and open. So it is quite easy to build up, especially if you've come down the dual carriageway, to build back up towards that 50 mile an hour before it's actually time to. And here we can see the speed camera on the right there. So all it is is a matter of waiting for the lights to change. And we remember that we've passed two lots of 30 mile an hour signs. So on this long straight bit, it is still 30 miles an hour. In the distance, we can see there on the right, a 50 sign, a repeater sign on the left. So it's not till you pass that first 50 mile an hour sign that it becomes 50. Remember, up until you get to that sign, it is still 30 miles an hour. So we hope that's helped in your understanding of the Trenchlock speed cameras. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe our channel for more useful Telford driving tips. Remember to keep well, drive safely and we'll see you in our next video.